Hello again, welcome back to Learning English Pro. In this lesson, I will be exploring lots of interesting and useful English words relating to containers. Containers are everyday items that we use all the time to put and store our things in. So get ready for lots of handy English vocabulary that you can use straight away in your daily life. And make sure to check out the extensive word list in the description below covering all the words in today's lesson. So if you're ready, let's get started on our lesson. Our first container is a bottle. Repeat after me. Bottle. Bottles are usually found in two different types of materials, like a plastic bottle or a glass bottle. You could say a bottle of wine. Or how about a bottle of water? Our next container is a bag. Repeat after me. Bag. We have a plastic bag. Another type of bag is a brown paper bag. Repeat after me. Brown paper bag. Our next type of bag has a few different names in American and British English. In American English, it could be called a trash bag or a garbage bag. In British English, it can be referred to as a bin bag or simply as a black bag. Another common type of bag is a shopping bag. Repeat after me. Shopping bag. And we could say a bag of apples. Repeat after me. A bag of apples. A bigger type of bag made of cloth is called a sack. Repeat after me. Sack. A sack of wheat. A sack of wheat. Let's move on to a different type of container. This is a barrel. Repeat after me. Barrel. These are commonly used for liquids, so we could say a barrel of oil. Or how about a barrel of wine? This is a basket. Repeat after me. Basket. There are a few types of baskets, like a bike basket. Another common type of basket is a picnic basket. A picnic is a lunch or meal outdoors served while sitting on a blanket. A type of basket which we all use a lot is a shopping basket. These are generally made from metal or plastic. A basket of bread. Repeat after me. A basket of bread. Our next container is very useful in the kitchen. A bowl. Repeat after me. Bowl. We could say a bowl of soup. A bowl of soup. Or how about a bowl of rice? A bowl of rice. Up next we have box. Repeat after me. Box. Cardboard box. Cardboard box. Lunch box. Lunch box. If a box is made of plastic, it can sometimes be called a plastic storage container. And this type of box on screen is called a crate. Repeat after me. Crate. You could say a crate of apples. A crate of apples. 
Moving on, our next container is really useful when you're cleaning. A bucket. Repeat after me. Bucket. A bucket of water. A bucket of water. And if you need some refreshment, this container can offer it to you. A can. Can. We could say a can of soda. A can of soda. Or how about a can of cola? A can of cola. A similar container which is used to contain food is a tin. Repeat after me. Tin. A common item on the shopping list in Britain would be a tin of beans. Repeat after me. A tin of beans. Our next container is a case. Repeat after me. Case. A case is a container to keep something safe in. There is also suitcase. Repeat after me. Suitcase. Our next type of container is used to store liquids. A carton. Repeat after me. Carton. Probably the most common type of carton is a milk carton. Milk carton. Staying with liquids, we also have a glass. Glass. We could say a glass of wine. Or how about a glass of orange juice? Another container made of glass is a jar. Repeat after me. Jar. We could say a jar of honey. A jar of honey. A smaller, flatter type of jar is known as a tub. Repeat after me. Tub. These are usually used in cosmetics, so we could say a tub of moisturizer. A tub of moisturizer. Our next container is very close in spelling to tub. Tube. Repeat after me. Tube. A common type of tube is a tube of toothpaste. A container which is used to store and serve liquids is known as a jug or as a pitcher. A pitcher is usually a slightly larger jug. You could say a pitcher of orange juice. Or how about a jug of milk? Another useful container for beverages is a mug. Repeat after me. Mug. And commonly found around the world is a mug of coffee. A mug of coffee. Our next container is popular in the garden. A pot. Pot. This can be more commonly referred to as a flower pot. Flower pot. Our next container is a packet. Repeat after me. Packet. And one of my favorite packets is a packet of chips. Repeat after me. A packet of chips. Our final container is a pan. Repeat after me. Pan. We could say a pan of boiling water. A pan of boiling water. 
And that brings us to the end of this English lesson on containers. Don't forget about the word list in the description below. And if you're looking for more English vocabulary, there's really no better place than Learning English Pro, my YouTube channel, where you can find a ton of English vocabulary lessons on lots of different and varied subjects. And if you can't find the subject that you're looking for, let me know in the comments and I'll only be too happy to make that video for you on your chosen subject. Coming up on screen are some video suggestions just for you, along with the link to subscribe. Please like and share this video with a friend, colleague or your teacher. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.